Shalom to you from oneforisrael.org. This week we are looking at the portion from Exodus 22 to 25 called Laws or Mishpatim in Hebrew. This portion takes place when the nation of Israel are at Mount Sinai, right after the Ten Commandments are given. With that context, let us look at a couple of very meaningful verses spoken by God and found in chapter 23, verses 1 and 2. You shall not spread a false report. You shall not join hands with a wicked man to be a malicious witness. You shall not fall in with the many to do evil, nor shall you bear witness in a lawsuit siding with the many so as to pervert justice. As we know from the Ten Commandments, four of them deal with relationship with God, while six have to do with human relationships. Many places in scripture tell us that the way we carry our human relationships bears a strong witness to our relationship with the Lord. In the words of Yeshua, love one another. By this, all people will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. In all of scripture, there are a little less than 15 places where God says he hates something. The great majority of the places where God says he hates something, it refers to how humans treat each other. In fact, most of those references have to do with prideful, prideful attitude and behavior, showing favoritism and bearing false witness. So it is a small wonder that right after the Ten Commandments are given, God talks to us about how we are to behave to one another. God says we should not spread a false report. The Hebrew word translated as spread actually has the connotation of hearing as well as speaking. That is, we are told not even to listen and certainly not to spread gossip. Of special interest is the expansion of this command in verse 2. You shall not fall in with the many to do evil. This expression, with the many, is repeated twice in that verse. As people, many times we are seeking human acceptance, and sometimes we may even be willing to sacrifice our integrity to attempt to get it. At times of persecution and testing because of our faith, we may even be tempted to deny our faith in Messiah to gain social acceptance. The epistle to the Hebrews, specifically written to Jewish believers in the first century, is written to encourage us to stand strong in our faith during times of trial, persecution, and testing. Yeshua said, I tell you, everyone who acknowledges me before men, the Son of Man also will acknowledge before the angels of heaven. To sum up, while it is definitely a normal human tendency to desire acceptance by other people, it really is secondary to acceptance by God. Put another way, when our vertical relationship is not grounded, we see comfort in our horizontal relationship, even when we need to compromise. But when our relationship with God is firmly grounded, we don't depend on the comfort of human acceptance and approval. You shall not fall in with the many to do evil. Please join us next week for another installment of Five Alive. Wishing you God's Shalom from One for Israel and don't forget to share.